Hi, GS friends. We've been studying clouds all week long. So today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to make a cloud in a bottle. I have a two liter clear bottle and I filled it about a third of the way with warm water. I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to notice that the warm water starts to evaporate in my bottle and there's now water vapor trapped. Water vapor is the first ingredient in making a cloud. Now, I'm going to squeeze my bottle and I'm going to release it. I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to release it. Did you notice any changes? Probably not. That's because all I'm doing is creating a warming and a cooling of the atmosphere in my bottle. And nothing happens. The next step is I'm going to take this off. And if you see condensation in your bottle, you can just shake it and it'll go away. Okay, the next step is I'm going to light a match and I'm going to open my bottle and I'm going to put the match inside my bottle. When I do that, the match is going to have smoke and it's going to trap smoke and dirt and particles into my, into my uh, bottle. And smoke, dirt, and particles is the second ingredient you need to make a cloud. Right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put, the, put this on very quickly right after. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to squeeze and I'm going to release. Let's see if anything else happens. Ooh. Cool. When I squeeze, the cloud disappears. When I let go, it appears. Because air pressure is the third ingredient in making a cloud. I hope you can tell me the three ingredients you need to make a cloud. I'm going to attach a page right after this video where you can write it down. I hope you had fun. If you decide that you want to do this on your own, please make sure you ask your parents and make sure that they are the ones that are lighting the match. It's completely optional if you decide to do this experiment at home. I'm just glad everybody had a chance to watch. Have a great day, GS friends.